local family. Police say a man walked right into their home, put a gun to the head of the woman who lived there, and threatened her and her husband. Now police need your help to catch him. The woman talks with News Channel 10's Tim Garrett. Danville detectives in and out of apartment 306B on Hughes Street trying to get to the bottom of what happened here Wednesday night. Sarah Mayhew had no problem telling us. She says she was sitting playing cards with her fiance. Her ex-husband had just gotten home. Not far behind was a man with a gun. Dude come in, walked in the house like, you know, like he owned the house. I was sitting here with his hand, my head down, the side of my head was pointed with a gun pointed to my head. He asked my husband, ex-husband, for his money. So I wanted all his money. He said, if you value her life, he says, you'll give me what I'm asking for. He got up. I got up with him. We walked all the way up to the door. He said, if you guys step out the door, he said, I will shoot all of you and said he was coming back tonight to get the rest of it. Sarah, talking to detectives, says she knows who it was. His name is, um, they call him Black. He used to be a drug dealer. He thought there was a lot, a lot of money in this house. I was supposed to, my brother was supposed to bring me $850,000 Monday. So he thought that's what was in here. And it wasn't. Sarah says she's a third-degree black belt in Taekwondo, but says the suspect had her in a headlock, and she's lucky to be alive. That's night, my heart was, I couldn't, I thought, every time I turned around, I saw a nine. I saw a gun right here. Now, the detective that I talked to says the people he talked to know who this guy is, and they expect that should make it easier to catch him, and they are confident they will do so. In the meantime, though, Sarah says she is not worried about this guy coming back, but she would not go into detail, at least on camera, about what she'll do to him if he does. Reporting live from the Danville Register and Beat, Tim Garrett, News Channel 10. So if you have any information to help, please call Danville Crime.